Yo guys, what is going on? It is Mr. DGM here, back again for you guys, another squad builder video. So France and Belgium set to meet in the World Cup semi-final. It got me thinking who has the better national team on FIFA 18 Ultimate Team. So we're going to be comparing these two nations. So what I've done is I've made a 300k French team and a 300k Belgium team and we're going to decide who has the better team on FIFA 18 and we're also going to be discussing who we think is going to win between France and Belgium in the World Cup semi-final. We'll get into that a bit later on. So we're going to start off with the French team in a 4-2-3-1 formation. So in goal I've gone with Hugo Lloris, of course the French captain. I brought for 20,000 coins. This guy for me, definitely the best French goalkeeper and one of the best goalkeepers on this game. I'm a big fan of Lloris, can make some sensational saves in game. Uh, right back now, I have gone with Sadibi, who I brought for 1,200 coins. A solid fullback, I wouldn't say this guy's anything sensational, I'd say he's fairly average in game, but he does a solid job when you use him. So moving on to the central defenders, and I have gone with Raphael Varane, who I brought for 9,400 coins. This guy's been one of France's main players, such a solid central defender. And then alongside him, I've gone with Laurent Koscielny, who I brought for 3,000 coins. This guy would have got in the French team if he didn't get injured, unfortunately for him. But I think he's a fairly solid centre-back on this game. Is a bit weak physically, but apart from that, I'd say he's a solid centre-back. Left-back now, I've gone with an inform Russelisson. I think that's how you pronounce his name, but I'm not too sure. Who I bought for 17,000 coins. This guy's actually a really good left-back on this game. Great pace, good going forward as well. So in the left CDM position, we've gone with Paul Pogba, who I bought for 47,500 coins. This is his 87 card. Three goals, three assists in five matches. Really good return from Pogba. This guy's such a special player on FIFA and in real life. And then in the right CDM position, I've gone with Bakayoko, who I bought for 1,100 coins. Now, this guy is such an overpowered player on FIFA 18. Of course, you could go with someone like N'Golo Kante, but let's be honest, Bakayoko does just as good a job. And for only 1,100 coins, it makes sense to go with him. So in the cam position now, I've gone with Antoine Griezmann, who I bought for 31,000 coins. Seven goals, five assists in five matches. Very good return from Griezmann. I'm a big fan of this guy, especially in the cam position. I think he's such a great player. Great at scoring goals from outside the box. Right midfield now, I've gone with the inform 84 rated Alessandrini, who I bought for 24,000 coins. Five goals, four assists in five matches. Very good return. This guy is such an overpowered player on this game. Great pace, great dribbling, great finishing. Really is a deadly winger on this game. Left midfield now, we've gone with the forgotten man in terms of the French team in the 83 rated Anthony Martial, who I bought for 3,400 coins. This guy, very overpowered winger on this game, can score goals, can create chances, really strong and powerful player. And then up front, we've gone with the ones to watch, the 87 rated Kylian Mbappe, who I bought for 140,000 coins. Big money signing, but this guy is such a special player on this game. Great at getting him behind, a very complete forward really, very good at finishing, can dribble, and yeah, just a very good player on FIFA 18. So onto the player instructions for Mbappe, stay central, get him behind and press the back line. For Antoine Griezmann, stay forward to get into the box or cross and free roam. Pogba just cut the passing lanes and then I'd have him as balanced attack. Martial, stay forward to cut inside, get behind and get into the box for cross. Bakayoko, cut passing lanes and stay back while attacking. And then for Alessandrini, stay forward to cut inside, get behind and get into the box for cross. And then as always, I do keep both the fullbacks on balanced attack. So we're going to move on to the 300k Belgium team now. And I've gone with this team in a 4-1-2-1-2 formation with the uh, central midfielders. So, kicking things off, in goal, I've gone with the 89 rated Thibaut Courtois, but brought for 26,500 coins. This guy, without doubt, the best Belgian goalkeeper. And again, this guy is probably one of the best goalkeepers on this game. An absolute giant being 6'6". Six six. And yeah, he's a very solid goalkeeper to go with in game. Right back now, I've gone with Thomas Munier, who I brought for 2,400 coins. I'm actually a big fan of this guy. A really solid fullback. Good going forwards and very good defensively. I think this guy is quite underrated in terms of uh, the FIFA community because I'm a big fan of his. On to the centre-backs now. We've gone with the Tottenham pair, starting on the right-hand side with Toby Alderweireld, who I brought for 12,000 coins. Alderweireld, I think, is a very solid defensive centre-back. Yes, his pace isn't the greatest, but... I think he's a solid centre-back. And then alongside him, we've gone with the inform 86-rated Jan Vertonghen. A ball for 39,250 coins. 
I actually really enjoyed using this for Tom Card. I think a very solid centre back. And then moving on to the left back position, we've gone with Jordan Lukaku, who I bought for only 850 coins. I've used this guy so many times on FIFA 18, one of the most overpowered fullbacks on this game, without doubt. So moving into the CDM position, we've gone with the other forgotten man in Roger Nongolan, who surprisingly got left out of the Belgium national team. I bought for 10,500 coins, a really good box-to-box -box midfielder, can play in a number of positions. So moving into the right central midfield position, we've got, for me, the best player in the Belgium national team, their main man, Kevin De Bruyne, I bought for 60,000 coins, three goals, six assists in five matches, a really good player on FIFA 18. And uh, yeah, as I did say, I think this guy is the heart and soul, really, of the Belgium national team. Such an important player for them. Left central midfield now, we've gone with Moussa Dembele, who I actually packed. He's played a total of 54 matches, got 10 goals and 12 assists. Such a strong and powerful, but also a composed midfielder. So moving into the camp position, I've gone with the 87-rated Jerice Mertens, who I bought for 14,000 coins. Of course, this guy's originally a striker, but I feel he plays the camp position rather well. Great pace, great dribbling, can score goals, and yeah, I think he's a very good cam on this game. So moving on to the strikers, we've got two ones to watch players, starting off on the right-hand right side with Michi Batshuayi, of course, an 87-rated striker, but for 26,000 coins. I'm a massive fan of this Batshuayi card. Scores goals, and yeah, just a very complete forward. And then up front alongside, we've got the ones to watch, Romelu Lukaku, but for 101,000 coins. I'm also a very big fan of Lukaku on FIFA, such a strong and powerful forward and a really clinical finisher. So moving on to the player instructions for Lukaku, stay central, get in behind and press the back line. I would also tell Michi Batshuayi to do the exact same as Lukaku. Merton, stay forward to get into the box for a cross and free roam. De Bruyne, I would tell him to get into the box for a cross. And I would also tell Dembele to get into the box for a cross. And then I would tell Roger Nongolan to cut past the lines and stay back while attacking. And as always, I do keep both of the fullbacks on balanced attack. So we're going to be moving on to my highlights with both of these teams. Now, for me, I actually think both of these national teams are the two best national teams on FIFA 18. So it really is hard to decide who has the better team. And of course, there's some big players that I didn't even put in the squads, such as people like N'Golo Kante for France and people like Eden Hazard for Belgium that couldn't quite get into these squads. So yeah, both of these squads have got such a great depth to them and there really is a lot of good options to pick from. But for me, the team that I think has the better national team on FIFA 18, Ultimate Team, it has to be France. I think they have just got so many good options in the attacking areas in particular. got so many special players in the midfield. They're so solid. Defensively, I wouldn't say they're great. I think if you've got some team of the seasons in there maybe to upgrade it, the French defence could be also really overpowered. But yeah, for me, I think the French national team is better on FIFA 18. And in terms of who do I think is going to win between France and Belgium, I would say, in my opinion, I think France are going to beat Belgium. Let me know what you guys think. We're going to be running two polls, so it'll be interesting to see what you guys say. But uh, yeah, that, that's just going to be about it from me for today, guys. So if you have enjoyed this video, if you could drop a like on it, that would be absolutely amazing. If you guys could subscribe and help me on my way to 3,000 subscribers, I would hugely appreciate that. But yeah, guys, that is just going to be about it from me for today. So I will catch you in the next video.